So it's uh, the last full week of August. I don't know what the date actually is, but uh, Tuesday. And uh, we're starting the installation of uh, a tiny house for Rachel. Um, so it's supposed to be coming uh, sometime in September. And we're going to be putting um, putting it in behind the house. So I'll try to document as much as I can of the work to be done. And the first thing we're doing is bringing some stone in. So we'll have to go across Kathy's yard a little bit and around the corner past the well. So you're seeing the tracks where the dump truck, Daryl, and Ron come in with stone. The first big set of stones. Oh, he was able to bring it all the way back. Not a problem. <laughs> With big rocks. Okay. But anyways, you can use the shovel just as a, a stick. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyways, uh, I'll put this out. We'll uh, get her leveled up. Yeah, perfect. Thanks. That's great. You're home, are you? Yeah, just go. We didn't have, even there's have this conversation, but do you want me to document? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I'm, sorry, just... I'm surprised that he had no problems bringing the... Uh, oh, yeah. There was no, no issue. Yeah. Stuff right in. Which is good in terms of like getting the tiny house there too. Yeah, I mean, even though we've had, well, not lately anybody's anyways, but uh, we have had rain, right? So. Yeah, but it's been dry now. Yeah. Uh, just to check for height. Oh, okay. So it's something that, that's sitting up above and you'll be able to actually set whatever the, the height is supposed to be. Oh, here's like a laser level yeah. there? Oh, yeah. okay, that's what that is. It's called a transit. Oh, transit? That's what he called it. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I don't know. Like, is that a radio? Nope. Other corners buried. <laughs> Earl just. So I guess he'll be coming back with another load. Oh, several loads. Uh, he was he was talking about about 20 tons that you'll need. 20 tons, dang. 20 elephants. I don't know how much ton how, how much ton did you get with just one load, but I would assume there'd probably be a couple. I, I was thinking it was nine or ten loads. But it's not all going to be this stuff, right? There's, this is the stuff that goes on the bottom, and then as you get higher, you get smaller stuff. Yeah. I wonder what they, uh, what they have where they're getting this stuff from. Or are they they're getting it from some place that's doing crushing of stone? I don't know. Where the quarry is? Yeah. Is it's you? not going to be that far. A lot of rock work. Well, we're on the Canadian Shield. It's all rock.
All right, it's uh, Labor Day weekend, but I wanted to uh, show you what we have done to prepare for Rachel's uh, tiny house that's going to be moved onto the property in a few weeks' time. Um, so I'm going to append this to where we were actually doing the work or watching uh, the uh, Ron, our our uh, person who brings in all of the the uh, aggregates, etc. So the stone, etc. Um, so he followed the pathway that we've followed before, even though it was there. Um, so he brought uh, his Mini X and uh, his brother's dump truck and following this pathway that you're seeing on the uh, lawn here of Kathy, our neighbor. We went around the well, so there's the well head there, and you can see the power pole that we're going to be drawing power from. So the power cable is going to be, we're going to dig a trench from underneath or by that pole all the way around the pathway here, uh, around the well, until we get to pad where the mini house, tiny house, will actually be installed. And so there's a pad of gravel. The tiny house itself is 32 feet long, eight and a half feet wide. It's on uh, wheels, so technically, according to uh, Ontario law, it's actually an RV. Um, but uh, it's going to be installed on this pad of gravel that we've got uh, installed here. And so the large front window, I'll make a link uh, to the actual uh, builder so you can see the, the kind of uh, outline that the tiny house will have. Uh, anyways, there's a large picture window, window and it'll be pointing this direction uh, out over the meadow that we have here. So Rachel will have a very nice view of uh, natural kinds of pieces. We still intend to actually clear things up a little bit, uh, probably this fall. Rachel will be installing a deck, uh, quite a large deck, on the front side here, so facing towards our house. The uh, solar panels will be facing in this direction, so it'll be uh, facing south just like ours are. So she can get maximized uh, uh, efficiency out of them. And uh, the services will be coming down and around this way. So we'll be pulling water from the house over there, so it'll be coming much straighter than uh, the power and uh, internet, which will be coming through here. But I think this will be a nice uh, pad for her. Um, it's very, very stable at this point. Uh, so uh, we'll probably have to do a little bit of um, amendments, so putting some some soil up against the edge of uh, the gravel itself so that it doesn't uh, start to uh, slide down, uh, which it can do uh, at this point. But it's pretty stable. Don't know what the, uh, the weight of the tiny house is but uh, that could have an effect as well and and uh, Rachel has to build some piers uh, for the posts at the corner of it so it's got some stability that way anyways I'll uh, move up to the actual house itself so you get a sense and yeah we're gonna be putting um, walkways and all that kind of stuff so she won't be stuck out in the middle of the weeds and we intend to install some more uh, seating areas and a gazebo. Uh, we'll probably put a fire pit over top of the area that is outlined by these four uh, posts, the, uh, the orange uh, posts that uh, outline the, um, the septic bed that we're using. Here's uh, the underside if you haven't seen it before. There's the water supply that we'll be using. 
we'll have to big build a uh, an insulated box around it to make sure that uh, um, it's going to stay uh, unfrozen during the winter. Um, anyways, if you haven't seen it before, this is the uh, the base of the stairway that we built to the roof deck that will be coming next year because uh, we don't have the financing to be able to actually install it at this point. Anyways, uh, things are coming. Uh, just to give you a slight view of what's happening here. So we've got three fruit trees that have been planted over there. I'm not going back at this point in time. And then we've got some elderberry bushes uh, that you can see at uh, the stakes that are uh, there. And then some additional bushes that you can see at the stakes here. I'll just move down in this general direction. Oh, I can't remember what these are. Let's take a look at the tag. Oh, these are elderberries as well. So those are nanny berries over there. Three elderberries. There's one, there's two, and there's a third one here. Oh, that one looks like it's growing by leaps and bounds. And here we've got some blueberries. So there's one, two, three, four. We're supposed to have some small ones. I think maybe there's one or two that are still growing uh, in that general area. And then we've got uh, asparagus and uh, strawberries that are growing around the outside. You can see the asparagus, the wispy things. And there's another large strawberry plant here. Um, so eventually we hope to grow this entire area out to be a uh, bit of a berry bush where we can actually come to pick our own blueberries, etc. And eventually all of this will die back as well. There's clover planted underneath here, but it's been very much supplanted by the other uh, plants that you see. And over in the distance at the bottom base of that tree you can see there's a poppy plant and some other flowers that Trisha has planted that are starting to grow up. And then there's another bush in that area that is lower. I cleared it out uh, a while back. Anyways, I'm going to the garden and uh, doing some more work there uh, and bringing you along.